Hi, how's it going everyone? And welcome to day 17 of how to stop smoking weed. And if you stop smoking weed already, I just want to say congratulations and keep up the good work. And don't let anything or anybody knock you off your game. And if you're thinking about not smoking weed again, um, please subscribe to this channel because it's really, I'm going to keep you up to date with tips, tricks, and techniques that I'm using to keep me happy and keep me sober throughout my sobriety. <clears throat> so um, what I'm going to talk about today is the Lord's Prayer. And whether you believe in God or you don't believe in God, that doesn't matter. Just use this text to um, help you get you through your sobriety because it's very powerful. It's been around for thousands of years, longer than any of us. And a lot of people that are in NA that have quit for like 30, 40, 50 years, they use this prayer so it's coming from a reliable source. And the way the Lord's Prayer goes, it's just, God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and wisdom to know the difference. And the first part of this, which goes, God grant me the serenity, that's just to grant you the peace and the peace of mind and the peace in your emotions and to just give you calmness and, you know, and to, to be able to go through this, uh, this process of sobriety and a peaceful, you know, with you having a peaceful feeling. Because a lot of times when you're going through sobriety, especially the first couple of days, you really can't feel it. You're just always thinking about weed and you feel anxiety or you feel irritated, you feel angry or you feel depressed. So you really want to believe in this. You really want to believe that God can grant you the peace to, um, to make it through your, your sobriety. And the serenity to accept the things you cannot change. That means accepting the environment, accepting other people, accepting that you're, you're the only, you can't control any of that. The only thing that you can control is yourself. So you want to ask God to give you the serenity to accept the things you cannot change. Which is, like I said, it's, it's going to be either your friends or it's going to be your relatives or it might even be your spouse, you know, or your kids. So you can't change those things. I mean, you can influence them or you can try to change them, but it's gonna be very hard and it's gonna be very stressful on you. So it's better to get yourself cleaned up first and then maybe work on that on them later. But the truth is, you only have control of yourself. You can't control anything outside of yourself. Like I said, you can influence them, but that's about it. If people don't wanna change their ways, you know, you can change them. And you should know that, especially if you've been smoking weed and anyone try to convince you to change. You know, it's hard. You gotta want to do it. You can't make anybody do this stuff. And the second part is um, courage to change the things I can, which is you. You can change yourself. And you need courage to do this. And because I know while you're, while you're going through sobriety, you're gonna feel a lot of anxiety. And the only thing that's gonna change your anxiety is you doing the right thing and just being courageous and making, um, making this happen. Like, because I know the anxiety is gonna be so strong that you're gonna think the only way out is to smoke weed again. But no, that's not going to be the way out. You're just going to be addicted again, and you're going to go through the same cycle of addiction. So you have to do courage, which, like I said, is just doing the right thing. I learned this from a, a good mentor of mine, Dr. Paul Dabransky, which I had the privilege to interview and do a research paper on him when I was, uh, when I was going to college. It was funny because I got to just call him on the phone. I looked him up on the on the internet. I called the phone and he picked the phone right up. 
And I was like, hey, can you give me an hour of your time just so I can uh, ask you a couple questions because I'm doing a research paper. And he said, sure, come on over. And lucky for me, he was just a block away from my college. So that turned out to be a blessing, you know, in disguise. <clears throat> and so it comes from a reliable source, you know, doing the right thing is going to give you courage. And once you have the, once you do courage, that's going to raise your confidence up. And confidence is the opposite of anxiety. So always keep that in mind and always do the right thing, which is not smoking weed. And the second part is, and the wisdom to know the difference. And the wisdom is by made by your decision making. You know, you have to um, look inside of you and you have to use your conscience and you have to use your intuition to know whether you're making the right decision or not. And you know, if you're smoking weed, you know that's not the right decision. You're being too, um, you're being, you got too much intuition. You're being too like street smart. You're, you're, you're kind of uh, doing, it's kind of like your criminal side. You're probably low on conscience because you're not caring for anybody else and you're just being narcissistic about this. So a good thing would do is just, you know, to use your conscience and know you can feel it. You'll be able to feel it inside when you're doing it and it doesn't feel right. So that's breaking it down, the wisdom to know the difference. You have to, like, the only way you're going to know the difference and have the wisdom, wisdom, like I, I learned from Dr. Paul Debransky, is just your conscience and your intuition. If you're too high on intuition, then you're just going to, like, be like a criminal. And if you're uh, too low on conscience, you'll be too naive and you won't really, you know, you'll be persuaded into doing certain things. So you have to have the right amount of conscience and the right amount of intuition to make this happen. <clears throat> okay, so here's what to do every day or any time of the day that you feel like smoking weed. Just say this Lord's Prayer to yourself. You could say it like three times and just make sure that while you're saying it that you're actually remembering the lessons that you're learning here in the video and make sure that you remember that there is a higher power there is like hope behind this you can be hopeful that this is going to work like i said a lot of people in narcotic anonymous that have been sober up to 50 years i'm like i didn't i'm like that's crazy um but it's possible it can be done and that's where this source comes from so if you think it's fluff if you think it's not going to work don't think that because like i said it comes from a reliable source it comes from god it comes from the bible and it comes from these people who have stopped doing drugs for a long time so like i said anytime you feel, if you wake up and uh, you, the thoughts come up right away just say this prayer to yourself and uh, if you want, even uh, put it on little post-it notes and place it around your house. Um, you can make, uh, like I said, write it on a post-it note, put it up by where you do the dishes, put it up like uh, by a mirror in the bathroom so you remember it as soon as you wake up. Even if you want to just put a sticky note on your phone so when you first wake up you can read that and you can remember it. And this is very powerful like for real because you have to keep this in mind it has to be on your mind all the time you can't just um you know wait till you're into the the thoughts of addiction and then you say okay now i'm gonna read the lord's prayer no it's better to do it first thing in the morning do it later in the afternoon and then do it later in the evening and even before you go to bed and that's the way God will help you to uh, stop smoking weed and assist you on this. Okay, there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And like I said, su subscribe to this channel if you want to stay up to date with tips and techniques on how to stay sober. And whatever you do, do not smoke weed. Thanks a lot, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.